So here we have the user interface for a single power meter. When you log in via its IP address, you're presented with this summary screen where we have a graph of the um, current. This is over the past hour, but we can also display over a day, a week, a month. Um, we also have two gauges here showing our current voltage reading and also our current amperage reading. This is the load attached to the power meter. Up here we have a summary of the various sensors which form the power meter. That's the voltage, the total active current, etc. And we can choose to display graphs of these and also gauges of these as well. So if I didn't want to display gauges for the current and voltage, instead I wanted a graph, I can come up here to the voltage and open a uh, graph. And here we have a graph of the voltage, which can be resized to display what I want. Uh, if I want to go back to the gauge, I can close this uh, and I can select instead to open a gauge. Um, we've got a different variety of gauges to choose from. I'll go for the power one as we're dealing with power here. And then also the current, again, I can open a gauge and display that, resize it, and position it where I want. So this is um, completely customizable um, desktop and when you log out and then log back in again, it's going to remember what settings I had and display me the same information here. So we have a, a summary here of the various sensors and their statuses. We can edit the thresholds. So if we were to say go to the voltage, um, we can change its name and we can also begin to edit here the threshold. So at the moment we say um, anything from 180 volts to 200 volts will be low critical. From 200 to 210 is low warning. From 210 to 225 would be a normal range of voltage. And 225 to 230 would be high warning and above this will be critical. So we can adjust these. So if we wanted to make our low warning say 200 volts and our low critical just 190, and then normal up to 225 and um, high warning maybe starts at 227. Um, we can just make those changes there, hit save, and then when we go back to our summary screen, the gauge will have adjusted accordingly. And um, now only when these thresholds are exceeded will receive notifications. So notifications can also be set up on the device. We just go to notification rules here. You can see I already have one set up, it's enabled, so when the current on the um, server 01 is high critical, I'm going to perform an action and the action I'm going to do is send an email. So we can add new ones here, so we could say if the voltage is um, high critical, then we can perform an email action, or we can create new actions. If we click here on create action, we can then add actions uh, from this list, so we say we want to send uh, an SNMP trap, etc. Uh, you just input the details and when you're done, um, it'll show up in the list of available actions and it can be tied to a, to a notification. So that's the um, very simple um, setup when you have a single power meter. If you have more than one power meter and you want to monitor them all from a single user interface, we're going to take a look at that now using AKCP Pro Server. So here we are now in AKC Pro Server where uh, we're able to monitor multiple of our power meters in a single user interface. So this user interface is very similar to the one that's on the power meter itself, only this time we're able to view multiple devices in a single uh, software. So if we start off by looking at server 01, you can see here it's very similar to what we just saw. We have our graph of the current, we have our um, current and voltage meters and a summary of those sensors. Um, and again, these are customizable exactly as you just saw. And we've got four of these set up because in this instance, I've got four power meters. So I can go through and I can view each one of the power meters individually. Also as well, I'm able to set up a summary of all of the power and using our virtual sensors, we're calculating live PUE readings. So you can see here, this is our total um, data center power load over the past hour. And then here we have our um, non-IT load. And here we have our IT load. And then over here we're calculating the PUE based on those two numbers. So you can make live 
PUE readings and as you make changes to your data center, as you turn on and off servers or adjust cooling systems, you'll be able to see right away the effect it has on your PUE numbers and how efficiently your data center is running. So this is one of the advantages of using the server with multiple power meters. You can get this kind of in-depth information. And then one final feature I'd like to show you here is our mapping. So we have drill down mapping so I can go from say a, um, a countrywide or a citywide view and we can drill down to a specific data center and here I have a layout of my data center and we can then add power meters to each of these cabinets. So if I mouse over there you can see this is the current on server 01, we have the current on server 02, current on number 3 and the last one here I'm showing the voltage on, on server 4. Um, but these can be drilled down even on another level, we can actually set up uh, a cabinet rack map. So if we were to go to a rack map here, um, we call this rack 01, we can then actually begin to create rack maps. Uh, so we can choose the size of our rack, uh, the front and rear labels, and then we can add this. And every time we do a new uh, feature, we'll have um, a little on-screen step-by-step um, -step showing you how to finish. So uh, now we've created a rack map, we can drag it onto the screen and there's our rack. We can then begin to add servers to here so we can create assets. So this would be server um, 01. Uh, the asset type, we can choose what it is. So this is a PC. It's um, two U's in height. Um, and then you can also choose to link the asset with a virtual sensor if you like. So you can um, have a virtual sensor, say a ping virtual sensor, you can check if that asset's online or not. Once you've created that asset, we can drag it into the cabinet to occupy the um, space. So uh, we can then add to this desktop all of our other things like the power, um, graphing, etc. So you can have rack maps displayed with power details um, beside it. So I'll show you an example of that. If we create a new desktop, uh, we'll choose a rack map layout such as this one. Again, we'll call this rack 01. So here I can drag uh, my rack map onto there. Um, and then I may want to also bring onto here, say, our um, the current of the server 1, the current of server 2, and the current of server 3. So I can see the current for um, the various servers that I may add to this rack. So um, again, it's completely customizable. Um, so just show the information that it is that you need to see. Um, it's very, very similar to the user interface for a single device. It's just in this case, we've got multiple devices being displayed in a single interface. So I hope that gives you a good summary of um, the inline power meter. Um, how you can use them on their own and how you can use them in a much larger installation and how it's backed up by um, the AKCP Pro server for monitoring all of these devices all in a single user interface.